I have a task to write a Odessar compliant software to show the behavior of saving odometer value to non-volatile memory when EC goes to sleep. So it is a pretty common requirement. I can do this in a modeling environment called Simulink, where I can map the Simulink ports parameters to Odessar standard and automatically generate code using embedded coder. I can also perform software in the loop simulation to make sure my software is conforming to the requirements. I will show this um, implementation with a simple example. Here I have an Autosar Automic Software component which is making calls to non-volatile manager. It is a part of Autosar Basic Software Services layer, ensures data storage and maintenance of non-volatile data according to the individual requirements in an automotive environment. Inside this model reference, I have modeled the power up and power down states of an engine control unit using the newly introduced initialize and terminate block. These two new blocks respond to events to model explicit initialization function. On power up, the NVM values are read into RAM blocks in the initialize subsystem. And on shutdown, the values from the RAM blocks are returned to NVM in the terminate subsystem. And here I have modeled a 10 millisecond periodic runnable where the NVM is queried for every 10 millisecond to check the error status. If then there is no error, then the RAM block values are calculated by incrementing the input constant value by 2. NVM service caller is modeled by using the pre-configured NVM block available in the newly introduced basic software library. You can drag and drop the block and then name this port as per your application. I have named as NVM port and you have an option to choose the operation as shown here. I have chosen the get error status to check the status of the error. Now let's take a look at the NVM server uh, subsystem. Here I have a simulating function for NVM read and write. The read blocks for NVM port is served when it is called by the client when an ECU is in power up state where the NVM values are read into RAM blocks. The write blocks for NVM port is called by the client when an ECU is in shutdown state where NVM value will be written to RAM blocks. It always takes less time to read a NVM value but takes more time to write a NVM value to RAM block. To simulate this delay, 50 millisecond delay is introduced in this state machine. Then the get error status for NVM port will be called by server for every 10 millisecond from the client. Okay, now let me show you the Odessar UI to view how this simulating model is mapped to an Odessar standard. Okay, now let's look at the Odessar properties. So in Atomic Component, let's look at the runnables. Here I have three runnables. Runnable 10 millisecond is a periodic runnable, so it is uh, made as a timing event. Runnable initialize is a mode switch event and it is activated on entry and it is triggered on startup state. Runnable terminate is also modeled as mode switch event, but it is activated on exit and it is triggered on shutdown state. And over here, the mode switch interface, client server interfaces are configured as per the NVM client and server. And then the sender receiver interfaces is configured with the data elements. Here the corresponding mode receiver ports, client ports, sender ports are configured as well. Now let's look at the Simulink mapping UI. Ports are mapped from Simulink to Odessar and then your entry point functions are mapped to Odessar runnables. 
and over here the function callers are mapped towards our client ports and operations okay that's about the configuration so here the test points are hooked to the ram block and nvram for analyzing the results in simulation data inspector now it's time for me to do the simulation and show our are in action let's simulate this model in normal mode let me check the results in simulation data inspector here you can see the ram block value is increased because it is added by the input constant value by 2 when there was no error on the power up state and over here the ECU was in shutdown state so the RAM block value is copied to the NVRAM looks like uh, my algorithm is working fine but let me confirm that by running the simulation in software in the loop mode okay now let's look at the RAM and NVRAM values in the simulation data inspector. Great, the results what we got in normal mode and SIL mode are the same. Along with this our result, the code generation report is also generated. Here I have a function for 10 millisecond which is checking for error status and is also calculating the RAM value. And you can find a function definition to get error status and SIL file. Okay, let's move on to the initialization runnable where the NVM function for read port is called to read the RAM value into the NVRAM. And in the terminate function, the NVM function for write block is called to write the NVM value to the RAM block. Okay, that's about the demo. For more information on RSR support from Sumalink and Embedded Coder, please visit the RSR page on MathWorks website. Thanks for watching.